Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. In this tutorial we're going to continue looking at formatting and in particular we're looking at a very popular feature in Excel, conditional formatting. Now you'll find that on the Home tab and if you come across you'll see the Styles section and conditional formatting is the first button in that section. Now to apply conditional formatting, let's just do one quick example. I'm going to select all the cells in my income column, not the uh, function cells, just the ones from D3 down to D9. And let's just say I would like to have the highest values highlighted and maybe the lowest values highlighted as well to give me a quick visual indication of which films are doing well and which films are doing not so well. And conditional formatting will do that for me. So with the cells selected, I simply click on the conditional formatting button and I'm going to come down to color scales and if I just put my mouse pointer over the first one you'll immediately see on the income column that the colors have been applied so I get a live preview and the high values are color green, the low values colored red and the mid values are either a lighter green or a lighter red or a yellow depending on whether they're highish or lowish. Now if I move my mouse pointer across to the second one, this is basically a reverse of the first one. So it's the same range of colors, but this time the high values are red and the low values are green. So the next set along, again, similar, except this time the mid numbers aren't highlighted at all. So we have colors for the low values and the high values, but those mid ranges aren't colored. And again, if I move along, you'll see the second one is simply a reverse of the first one. So red for high, green for low. And that's basically how these things work. So if I come to the second row and I move along, you can see the live preview updates. And so you have different options for colors and you can have dark colors for high, light colors for high, depending on the type of thing you're doing and what you want to achieve. Now, if I come back up to data bars on the conditional formatting options, we have a new thing here in 2010. This was also in 2007 but the data bars only feature the gradient fills. And I'll show you those first. Now if I just move my mouse pointer again, you'll see we'll get a live preview. And this time what you'll observe is that the high value is filled 100%. And then all the other values are filled relative to that first one, or the highest value. Now as I move about this gradient fill section, you'll see that some might be more appropriate than others. Again, bear in mind that the contrast will be an issue. So if you're looking at these things on the screen, it's not so much a problem possibly, but if you're going to print these out, maybe something like a purple with a black text isn't a good mix. The lighter ones are better, I think, for both on screen and printing out. Now, Excel 2010 has also added a solid fill. Now, a solid fill does work well in some circumstances, but in this case, as you will see, if I go over the solid fill, it's probably worse than the gradient because, again, there is a problem with the contrast. Uh, again, if I come down to this purple, you'll see we have a real problem in terms of reading the actual numbers. So something to watch out for when replying these conditional formatting fills. Now, if I come across here and look at icon sets, you will see that we have, again, a different way of highlighting things that are working and things that aren't working. So you have, in this case, arrows. And if you look at the live preview, one of the immediate problems is that I need to increase the width of my column to get these symbols to fit. So if I just come back to the spreadsheet and click on the border between the D and E there, we'll just make it a little bit wider. So our symbols fit. Again, come back to conditional formatting, go to our icon sets. And this time, as you see, the arrows fit. As I move down, you'll see the idea is simply to use, in most cases, a traffic light system where green represents good, yellow represents something in the middle, and red, or black in this case as well, represents something that's not doing quite so well. So again, you can explore all these options at your leisure and decide whether they're appropriate for what you're doing or not. In Excel 2010, there's a new section here called Ratings, and again, similar idea really, if I just put the balance pointer over the stars there, you'll see my higher values, anything basically 20 pounds or above, gets a full gold star, going down to half a star, and no stars at all if it's uh, one of the lower values. And similar idea in the other rating sets there. But for what I want, I'm going to come all the way back up to the very first option, the highlight cell rules. 
and I'm simply going to click on the greater than option and you'll see that Excel has already put some information in there for me so it's chosen a value 17 pounds 38 as the point at which the formatting is applied that's not what I want though so I'm just going to delete that and in fact what I'd like to do is have any value above 15 pounds highlighted so I simply type in the number 15 there come across to my formatting and what I want to have happen is have a light green fill color with black text now there's nothing here there's a green fill with dark green text I don't want that so none of those really fits what I want so I'm going to go to custom format and just bring the dialog back into view there and all I need to do here is go to the fill option choose a light green and that one will do nicely click OK click OK on the dialog box there just click away so you can see the result and you'll see that all my values above 15 pounds are now highlighted green I'd also like to have any value below 10 pounds highlighted and if I again select the same range of numbers go to conditional formatting if I go to highlight cell rules I've also got a less than option there so I can click on that it doesn't matter I've already got one format applied this will just be added on to my list of formatting so it says again 17 pounds 38 I'm going to simply say less than 10 and I would like maybe a light red applied to the cell to indicate so if I click on the drop down there is this time in the options a light red fill so we'll try that click OK click away and there's the formatting now to me that looks more like pink so I'm not really happy with that so I'm going to select the range again go back to conditional formatting now here I need to edit one of my rules so I'm going to come all the way down to the bottom and choose manage rules so you'll see I have the two that have already set and the one that I'm going to change is here this is the one with the pink color that I'm going to modify so I simply highlight that click on it click on edit rule come to the format button down the bottom there and here I can choose a different color and maybe I'll go for a light blue instead then so there we are it looks okay click OK click OK there's lots of OK's to click unfortunately but one more time click OK just click away from a selection and that looks a bit better the green looks a bit sickly but I can live with that now as you remember I did increase the column width earlier to fit my icons and I'd like to just put it back the way it was now I could just click and drag and have a guess at what the width should be but one little thing you can do is if I put the mouse pointer between the C and D and click without dragging you can see there it tells me the width is 8.43 and then bracket 64 pixels so I can come across between the D and the E now and just click and drag until we get to it's a bit fiddly we'll get there though there we are 8.43 release the mouse button and now the column width is the same as column C and column B now another way I could have done that is click anywhere in column D go to the format button on the cell section of the home tab come to column width and here I can actually just type in the number I want in this case 8.43 press the enter key and that has the same effect so there's a first look at conditional formatting as you can see in Excel 2010 you have a huge range of options and features to apply so as I say just experiment with those find something appropriate for the work that you're doing and I'm sure you'll find it useful it's a great way of just highlighting significant values on a spreadsheet so that concludes this tutorial hope you found something useful in there Thanks for watching and see you next time.